Hey, welcome back. We're continuing to work on our drawing here that we started. Uh, we've done three videos so far. This is number four. And uh, so we're just continuing to add to our creation here. Um, last week, or last time, whenever you're watching this, we drew this woomph. Uh, we kind of finished here with, with his legs, but we didn't really finish. So I think maybe we'll give him some place to stand today. Okay, so maybe we come over here and have him standing on something. Maybe make some some grass. Now I'm doing this this grassy stuff before I do his feet because this grassy stuff is in front of his feet. So it's going to push push him back further. Just a little rocky, cliffy thing here. This character just like to stand. So now we'll make his the rest of his feet. We don't have to draw very much because uh, because we do have so much going on here. We can do some really dark stuff here. In the back because that'll that'll make even more of a feeling of depth all right let's see yeah that looks pretty good um, I don't know why he's angry we we decided last time that he's angry but we don't really know why um, maybe if we change his eyes Did it again, doggone it. There, gosh. Gotta stop hitting that button. Okay. Where are his eyes? So he's obviously now it looks like he's upset with Moogly. But I don't know what Moogly has done. That would be annoying. So maybe we can think of something. Let's see. We can change Moogly's expression. Change his eyes so that he's looking at the wolf. But he's obviously doing something that annoyed the wolf, so let's change his expression to something like that and make an eyebrow that goes like that. <clears throat> so now, now we have a little bit of a story here. You see how easily we kind of came up with the story by, just by changing their expressions a little bit. Well, we still don't know why the Woomph is upset with Moogly, <laughs> but, um, but maybe we'll think about that. Maybe we'll think of something in a little bit. Let's go back and work on the treehouse some more. I'm going to actually make this a bigger brush. So I want this this tree is going to be right here, and we want to really make it make you feel like there's a big willow tree there. So if you have like a big marker or something, you could you could fill all that in. All right, we should probably make a bit more here to the willow branches. Maybe what we'll do, we could make like a, a branch here. Okay, but if we come in, we could make our brush really small and just make some little, some little uh, leaves on these branches. Gosh, we're almost out of time again. These videos go by quickly. I hope you're enjoying drawing along with me. I used to watch these drawing programs on TV when I was a kid. And I used to watch 
Bob Ross do his paintings on Saturday afternoons at my grandmother's house, my great grandmother's house. And I would sit there with my piece of paper and I would, my crayons, and I would color along with, uh, with Bob Ross and make these pictures. And there were other drawing programs I watched too. So I thought it would be fun to, to make my own. All right, so we, we did quite a bit today. So we'll do at least one more and try to sort of finish out this drawing. So uh, check back in for another video. And uh, happy drawing, my friends.